up there. <laughs> Just you. How is everyone this evening? Is everyone good? Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, I'm just saying what comes into my head. Uh, just before I came on, I said, what do I say? What do I say? I'm so shy. You know, you guys know that this is not, I'm not, this, yeah, I'm not doing this bit. Um, but I'm just saying what comes into my head, you know, I'm just saying it out loud because I've got the power. I have a stage and I can just say what I want. And I could literally say anything right now, anything in the world. Um, but I have to restrain myself. Um, but no, um, it's truly um, so good to see you all. Um, I know I haven't seen some of you for a while, and it's been a while. Um, but um, we put this show on um, a little bit in America, and I was like, uh, why am I not doing it in my town? Um, so <laughs> here we are. Just you know, sometimes I have to stop myself from getting really, uh, carried away by how beautiful it is when I'm sort of mid-song, um, and I just end up like, oh, I'm getting a bit lost. Um, but honestly, it's, it's such a such a pleasure, and uh, I'm just going to keep singing because otherwise I'm going to just keep waffling forever, <laughs> literally. Um, and um, this is a slightly newer song from my album, The Brightest Boo, on New Heights.
challenge. Falling to pass. Um, it, it means um, a lot that I get to play that song actually because when I released my album during that, that weird lockdown time where we had to cope, we could only go for what, like one walk a day. <laughs> so weird. Um, and, um, and I wrote that song and I loved it so much and then I had to just sort of put it away and not, not go on tour and not perform it. So to, to, it's really surreal to be playing that song here with you guys in this. So I just wanted to say that. Um, this is kind of the, the sad section of the set, I realise. That one's quite uplifting, I think. Yeah. Um, but this next one, um, I wrote about um, a breakup classic. Um, and I think I just wanted to write a, a breakup song that was, um, that was just like, very, very honest. I know that's what we all aspire to do as songwriters, but, um, but one that was like, just, just please remember me in a, in a really simple way and just think of the good stuff and, and we'll just do that and not think of all the, the bad stuff. Um, but um, I think it's more self-explanatory than my waffle, so I'll just, I'll just sing it. <laughs> Remember me in a simple way, not what I did or said. When I think of you now, I just think of the day we met. Don't forget me like I didn't care. Cause I stole from myself just to make you got me. Memories Pack up a leaf 
for counting me for the... Shame to the comfort of us To 
after a, a few years of not really doing anything. I mean, I, that's, that's not true at all. I was doing lots of things. Um, but I hadn't toured, I guess, for a long time. And my life since I moved to London was really uh, signed a record deal. Um, and then went on tour. And I toured by myself a few times around the world. Then I toured with Bruno Mars and Katy Perry. I toured with lots of other um, amazing artists. Um, and then when I stopped, I moved to New York. Um, I sort of didn't really know what to do because I spent the last decade uh, touring um, what some people call kind of like a false reality because it's not, not sort of real life. Um, and I'd only really been on the move. So I realized that I was 30 and I'd started it all, you know, sort of 10 years before that and um, felt like I'd become a woman, but I didn't really know how to I don't know, figure that out. Um, so, as a songwriter does, I wrote a song about it that's called a woman. Oh
Francisco. Even though we both know we're lies, we start each other's fires, we just know that we'll be alright. Even though we kicked out the party, cause we both hate everybody, we're the ones they wanna be like. So don't
So, hello again. <laughs> I decided that tonight was the night to play a new song. Um, and I, I really don't. I don't do this. But I, I actually really don't do this uh, much. I'm, you know, I'm pretty self-conscious about my music until it's done and dusted, and I have no choice but to play it because I'm, you know, obliged <laughs> to play it once it's it's done. Um, but. I just wrote to him recently um, with a really good friend of mine, Jack, and I wish he was here. We've got really close in the past few months and um, we're, we're sort of writing everything together and um, really celebrating because he's did some Beyonce songs and so, so he should. Um, so he's back in LA, but um, we wrote this and uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of just what I do. I write from the heart and I write what I'm feeling and then think about the consequences afterwards. Um, so, yeah, we, I mean, we've only really rehearsed it like a couple of times, so, um, we'll see. Uh, will, will you allow me to just give it a go? Yeah. We'll see, okay, let's try it, let's try it.
grateful because, um, uh, you know, I guess the past 10 years of doing shows, I've, I've noticed uh, that it went from kind of like, to, to just, um, yeah, just recording, I suppose. Um, which I get because, do you watch the videos? Yeah! You okay, it. <laughs> no. um, do you sometimes not watch them and like a year later you watch it and then you reminisce? Okay, fine, okay, I get it. Um, but I'm um, also, um, I, I do this a lot and I'm not like trying to, trying to, I don't know, have some kind of, I don't know what the word is, but um, yeah, I, I quite like to enjoy things in the moment. Um, and um, I could definitely say that, I could have been such a better way of just that. Um, but um, but l lately, um, just there's, there's been things, uh, you know, where I get to, I realise that I get to have that moment by myself and I don't share it. Like, but I think because, you know, if you don't post about it, or you don't, you, it never happened. Um, so I, I do understand that. But I just want to say, it's, before I go off on a rant about um, iPhones and gigs, um, it's been so nice to, to see so few phones, so thank you for that. Um, it's, yeah, it's really nice. But the, and that said, you know, when you get the lights out, that's very pretty, you can use it with lighters and now it's, your phones it does look very nice. So it's tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a song I did with my friend Galvin. Yeah, let's do it before I keep talking. <laughs>
I've done some uh, covers on my time and some new ballads too. Um, I like singing ballads because it's, it's fun to do. I like to use my voice and it gives me a chance to uh, really, you know, uh, you know, just figure my voice out in that kind of space and that emptiness. Um, and, but I, I like doing dance music too. Um, I grew up listening to dance music, rave music actually. I one of my earliest memories was Prodigy. Future Sound Music, Future Sound Music, Future Sound London. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, so I grew up to like to dance music, but then I discovered my voice and started uh, teaching myself guitar. Uh, and I, yeah, this song was kind of an accident because uh, my friend Ben, uh, Ben Lovett, who's in Mumford and Sons, um, he said, let's do this cover, I think your voice would really suit it, and I was like, nah, I don't think it will, um, and, uh, and he was like, no, trust me, I really think, I'm going to direct you in the, in the booth, and uh, I'm going to show you how I think you should sing it, so really, he's responsible for, the, for I mean, this song, um, and um, it would be really embarrassing if, if you didn't know what this was, but I think you do, um, you know the original, anyway, maybe you know my version, um, but um, this is an Elton John uh, cover. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money The boy fighting I buy a big house where We both can live So excuse me for getting with these things I do. You see, I've forgotten it. They're green or they're Anyway, the thing is, what I really mean. You're a 
this one, but then uh, I know there's somebody here who likes it, so I decided to play for them. And you, of course. <laughs> but mostly them. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and grey Look out the summer's day With eyes that glow the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees in the dappled Catch the breeze in the winter chill in colors on the snowy linen land. Now I understand what you tried to say to me and how you suffered for your sanity. How you tried to set them free. They would not listen, they did not know. In a violet haze, reflecting Vincent's size of China blue, colors changing hue. All in fields of amber green, weathered faces lined in pain, are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand. Now I understand. What you try to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now For they could not love you But still your love was true
Thank you. stage with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and
one last song before I say goodnight to all of you. Uh, I know I haven't yet done that many shows uh, lately, and I miss you guys. Um, so, um, I'm writing a new album. This year, um, me and Jack have been working pretty hard, so I don't know. Sounding good, I think. Um, but, you know, just working on it. So please do come back when I have um, some more new music. Um, I may have some uh, collaborations coming. Um, you know, with good people. It's exciting. Um, but 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 uh, mainly, I want to say um, thank you so much for just being here and giving me so much love and support and um, I appreciate you so much and um, thank you so much.
many surf cans I know. No, no, I see so many people coming out. It's a surprise.